Welcome back. A new Netflix docu-series is released today on Queen Njinga, who reigned in modern-day Angola in the 17th century. Executive produced by Jada Pinkett Smith, the series seeks to provide an insight in the life of the powerful queen who fought off the Portuguese to keep her kingdom free whilst most of Africa was being swallowed by imperialism. Nyasha Michel sat down with the lead actress Saada Sua Oni and the writer Paris Owino to find out what it was like working on this project. Yeah, really blessed to be honest. I mean, when you're telling the story of someone so pivotal mm. as in Jenga, mm -hmm. um, and you get the honor of trying to go beneath the skin into who she who she she is. It's just such a wonderful challenge, and I just pray I did her justice. No one's brought her to heal yet. How easy or difficult was it to source accurate historic records? Jenga is not the first historical space that I've been in. I've spent a lot of time in Africa's historical spaces. When things would come at me, even when it comes, whether it's historical or not, then I would sit down and look at that through my own lens as an African woman. I would discuss that with Nene as we are both African women. Mm -hmm. Then we'd look back at all the African women we've known in time and say, does this ring true? So there was a lot of self-introspect, there was a lot of looking at the material, questioning it, and then writing and rewriting and writing and rewriting until you hit that point where you felt, okay, this feels authentic to this mm. ancestor that we are writing about. You see more than we do. Africa has got 54 countries. You know, they yes. are so diverse in culture, traditions, mm. dialects, etc. So in this docuseries, did you tap into Angolan dialects, Angolan traditions and practices? By us having Queen Diambi on set, because we as the writers were talking with Queen Diambi as we were writing, yeah. and by having her, she is the continuation of the lineage okay. of Jinga. Mm -hmm. So it also goes to show the audience it never ended, it continues. And that roots it in reality, it also roots it in truth. And that was something we, were, we paid very, very close attention to, is we wanted to make sure we had an Angolan voice mm -hmm. that was speaking to us mm -hmm. as we put things down on paper. You're of Nigerian descent, yes. and of course Njinga is Angolan. Mm. So uh, how did you feel about playing somebody who is uh, you know, from a different country? There was a time period in, in our history, our shared history, where even to have a story like this being told was close to impossible. And when it comes to something like a Nigerian portraying Angolan, what I look at is the humanity of the person. Mm. I was grateful to get the opportunity to tape for this. I was grateful to get the opportunity to do my recall, to do the callback. And when I got told I had the part, what was important to me was to honor the person. I've been given the opportunity to play Americans before in my life. Does that mean African Americans are gonna say that I have no right to play them? But it doesn't mean I don't understand that for some people it is important. And I do actually hope that the more, the, the, for, the, the further we go, as a people, and the more stories we have, the more breath we have to find the right person for every role. I believe I'm the right person for this role. Mm. I understand if others don't. So fundamentally for me, one of the things that I always ask myself when people start talking about, oh, you're a Kenyan, you're a Nigerian, is what is a Kenyan? What's a Nigerian? What's Angolan? Because those borders that exist on the continent of Africa were not put by us or our ancestors, they were put by others. And though we may not be able to remove them from the maps, we should be able to remove them from here because mm. here's where divide and conquer happens. So what of those people who say that they are equally talented people in Angola who could have played it? So how would you tackle that? And they're right. There are people who are qualified to do that. The issue is also the issue of time. Look at how long it took for us to get into the room. You know, and we're trying to kick these doors down, but trust me, we're kicking the door down and leaving it open because we see you and we want to drag you in, but we have to first kick that door down. Yeah. And that is what these series are doing. What is the one thing that you want audiences to take away when they watch African Queens? I'm going to use an African-American quote, Maya Angelou, oh. and still we rise. Humanity and trying to understand or open your mind a bit more about what humanity means to you.